guys, so today I'll be showing you how to make these really easy fish charms on the rainbow loom. You'll need to choose a color for the body of your fish. I chose blue. And also you'll want one black rubber band for the eye of your fish. Start with your loom in this original configuration. Now I'm taking two blue rubber bands at a time. For this entire design, I'll be using pairs of rubber bands. So begin by going from the center peg to the first right peg, and then the center peg to the first left peg. Now still taking pairs of rubber bands, I'm going to go up each column of the loom four times, three, and four, and do that same exact thing for the left and center row. Here's what your loom should look like so far, and now I'm going to add one more to the center column, and also I'm going to go from this right peg into the center, and I'm going to push down those bands and make more room, and Reminder, we are still using two bands at a time. Now, take your black rubber band for the eye and go to the left column, and we're going to count up two. So on this second left peg right here, I'm going to place my black rubber band, just like a regular cap band, and I'm going to twist it so that there are three loops of black on that peg. Now I'm just going to add some triangular cap bands, so taking a single blue band, just going to place them in the following areas. This will just hold up the design. Now go back to this peg right here where you put that black rubber band, and we're going to slide this onto the triangular cap band to make the eye. So. Take your hook and you're going to reach for all three of that black band and just slide it. Now we're going to make the tail of the fish, so go to this middle peg right here and we're going to extend out to the right and we're going to go up three times taking two rubber bands at a time. And do that for the other side. Okay, now we're going to add the cap bands on these two pegs, on these last pegs. So I'm just going to place it on there, and I'm going to twist it so that there are three loops. And do that for this side. Now turn your loom around, and we can begin hooking. I'm going to begin on this side here, and of course go under the cap band, and grab those bottom two bands and bring them forward and continue doing that so the first pair of rubber bands you should pick up um, should go to this right side so I'm going to try to go past all these rubber bands and then pick up the first ones. This might take a little longer, but once you've got it, it makes it really easy. And the next two rubber bands you should pick up should go out here to the left and then the way bottom two should go straight. Now just continue hooking everything together. Just go past all those cap bands. Now once everything is hooked, you can place a slip knot through here. Go through all these rubber bands. And go like this, pull it through, make sure it's through everything. And now you can make the slip knot and hold on to this slip knot. And now I'm going to remove everything off 
the loom. Here's what mine looks like once it's off the loom, and as with every charm, you may need to adjust some things. But other than that, thanks for watching, and please subscribe.